All right, I get it. It's time for a new trick again. And let's talk about how to work, how to better work with automatically generated source code in IntelliJ, because that's always a bit of a pain. Let's check it out. Imagine you're working with a library like Juke. It's a database access library, and I'm just writing a course about it. And in Juke, you have some code generation going on. So you have your database and you have the Juke code generator which looks at the database and from those tables and databases and whatnot, generate some Java class files. Now the question is always, where do you put these automatically generated Java classes? Because you want IntelliJ to be able to reference these classes so you can obviously use them in your source code. Now, one way would be to just put them, let's say to the target folder. So in here you can specify the where the Jude code generator should put those files to a random directory. Now, if you run code generation, you have to wait a second, and then hopefully you'll see in the target folder, you see a folder called blob, and there you have a couple of classes that the code generator generated. The problem is all these folders are red. And you can see they even have this red sign down here, which means IntelliJ isn't smart enough to figure out that the, these files are actually source code and you can reference them, which you cannot. It's just some files in the target directory. Now, if you clean things up again, there's a nice little tiny convention in IntelliJ. You just need to put these classes into a folder called generated sources. Now, if you um, rerun code generation now, Let's wait a second. You can see code generation runs. And now the target folder has a generated sources folder, which is blue, which means IntelliJ automatically detected these classes as proper source files. You can see they have no red icon down here anymore. And now you have full autocomplete. And there's a couple of errors here because some imports aren't right. But that is basically plain Java, and that is exactly what you wanted. So always remember, if you put them generated classes into a folder called generated sources, IntelliJ is smart enough to pick them up as proper source code, and you have, don't have to do that manually yourself. All right, that's it for today already. I think I mentioned last week, I want to talk more about debugging again. Didn't happen this week. It's going to happen next week, where we're going to talk about debugging lambdas. So stay tuned.